Nimodo. Hi guys. Welcome everybody to episode 28. 28. 28. The Simba episode. Simba. Put him right here in the middle of the table so he can be the he'll be the honorary mascot for, for this episode. She has a tendency to jump off of things. She's a brave little soul. Yeah, that's why I call her suicide suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Are you oh, drunk? Yes, give me some. Drink it, drink it, drink it. Welcome to the party. Uh, right? And then she poops right there. Right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's yeah, let's get her off because we might be freaking Liz and Ambrose out. Anyway. So, it didn't hurt. No, that's what they're designed for. So we're live. And we're recording. Do you? And have, we're live. And we're recording live? And we're live. Cheers, gentlemen. Cheers, everybody. We're Thank doing you, some for uh, us red beers. Again, and cheers to y'all. Um... Yeah. Very glad that you guys didn't warn her for the first one. Thank you to the bartender. We made an effort, but a little effort. We just made a different one. The minus the smegma. A, a for effort, but F for taste. Bad. Disgusting. As, so F, as in, F as in fuck that. <laughs> it was disgusting. It was horseradish. Yeah, don't Who whoever whoever thought of putting horseradish in in a Bloody Mary. Nasty should be shot. <laughs> um. So. You have the list that we can bring. Do you? Are you watching Rick and Morty at all? No, no Rick and Morty. I I've, I've watched. I've watched more. Um, I could put it on if I need to watch something, but like to make it a point to watch, not really. No, it. I don't know how to explain it. But it's just, the whole time I'm watching, I'm just like, oh my god, why am I watching? But then I finish the episode, I'm like, that was that, that, that was pretty funny. I mean, and then I'll go on to the next one. I really like how it's stupid, mm-hmm. stupidly funny, but it's not just stupid and funny. It's very vulgar. It's very so, vulgar. So the vulgar, the yeah. penis jokes, you know what I mean? Yeah. The, I mean, there's so much crap, like yeah. little like crap in that show that's like, it's hilarious. It's like watching maybe, I don't know. Um, it's really creative. I'll give it that because it's, it's coming up with shit that like scientific stuff that yeah. makes you think and it, eh, it, i could see that i could i'll probably keep watching because well what do we say 20 minutes per episode i like 20 25 minute episodes yeah. really easy do watch. you watch any animated stuff no, like I south don't. park family no, i don't Guy. watch anything like that. i don't know why i just not even when you were younger you didn't yeah that's maybe a little bit then but beavis and butthead not, yeah, a little bit. But no, I don't watch any anything that's animated. No Futurama okay. Simpsons. You know what I did? I don't know why I started trying to watch Futurama. Hmm. I was telling that I saw the first about. episode and I was like, okay, that's kinda okay. the way it starts. I never knew the whole story about that show. Is it the animated part that's kind of like a bit of a I don't I say guess, a turn off, yeah. but Okay. I can see that. I, I mean I don't me I don't mind watching anything. But Honestly, I like I really like Rick and Morty because it's so stupid. Yeah, you know. Now, when and you watch comedies, do you watch like the more dumb stuff or just more like the Hangover? Yeah, I guess I wouldn't go past more Hangover stuff because I like more of the action and okay. Really so he's more, action. See, we finally implemented some more man stuff. Right? Yeah. We have a we have a real man now. There you go. <laughs> That's what it is. Speaking of which. Reacher, you finished it? Yes. Okay. Dude, I plowed through that thing because my mom was watching it with me. Yeah, not that kind of plowing. <laughs> um, Dang. My mom got all into it. She did, dude. <laughs> but he plowed, and then he says mom, and I'm like, wait. <laughs> so, right. Yeah, no, I was going to do a mom joke on myself. Right. Yeah, that's funny. Um, dude, I, I've... You you'd probably get a kick out of it then because it's more it's way more actiony. Do you like um like Sherlock Holmes kind yes, of mystery yeah. stuff? Yeah, those are good. Dude, movies. you will be very much into this. It's very actiony, very Sherlock Holmesy mystery type thing. I honestly thought it was gonna be 
like the old TV shows from back in the day where it was uh-huh. each episode is going to be a different problem. Okay. But this entire season apparently is just one problem. Mm. Apparently, each season is going to be based on one book. Okay. So, the going to the backstory, Jack Reacher, the movie that came out with Tom Cruise. You remember yeah, that? I remember Okay. That. So, those are part of books. So, all of that, they're part of books. So, it's not the same person, per se. It has, like, different books. So, right now, this Reacher is about a different book. Like, number 10 or 11 or some shit, right? This one, I believe, is the first book. Is it? I think so. Okay. Um, then maybe I added a one or a zero on that. And the funny thing is that when I heard about it, I didn't think it was going to be as good as the movie because I really like the movies. It's actually better than the movie. I, I actually like the really? series better yeah. than the movie. movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I, it, I really like it. Because the movie is very much a Tom Cruise movie. Yeah. Like this, Mission Impossible. Yeah. I mean, because you kind of put him in his own like realm of it's a Tom Cruise movie, so you're going to expect him to be... Tom Cruise. Yeah. You know, and Reacher is kind of like, I mean, this, what, what is he, 6'5, six, 6'6? Six, six? He's a big old dude, right? In reality, he's only 6'3, but in the show, they keep saying he's 6'5. Yeah, he comes out squashing all this shit, mm-hmm. which is really weird. But they like, it's very, it's like constant. They're always talking about how big the guy is mm-hmm. because he's huge. He's not like Tom Cruise. He's like a built dude. Yeah, Tom Cruise is what, like 5'1? Yeah, he's like 5'2 or some shit. You know, he's actually like 5'6 or 5'7. I told you. He seems I was supposed to come out of so cocktail. He, he's right. Than but you. they chose him because he was shorter. Yeah. Yeah. Ambrose heard cock and then he was just. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 I forgot if Lou was. Check if Lou was in the room. <laughs> They're like, no, no, it's not that kind of guy. It's just, oh, never mind. I don't want to be in it. So there are 30 minute episodes or hour? They're about 40. I think they're like 45. 45? Yeah. It's on Amazon Prime. It released what, like last month? I, no, no maybe I think it's been out for a while. No, I think it's been out for a while, no? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. You know what? Maybe last month. Because I could have sworn it had two seasons out already. No. Just, it hasn't been out that season. long. Yeah. So maybe about a month. I would think it's a month. So yeah. you get a chance to watch it. It's good. You'll it's like really it. It's really good. I got yeah. super hooked on it. I'm going to be watching it. <laughs> Sorry, we can cut this part out. So, <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> moving on. Well, you didn't watch Pam and Tommy. No, I didn't. I didn't. But I mean, we could give them kind of like the rundown of Pam and Tommy. Um, <laughs> yeah. If you like watching a man talk to his penis and his penis talk back, like actually talk back, you'll love the show. Other than that, it's not a great show. <laughs> okay, then I probably won't watch it. It really isn't. That's what we were saying the last time. If you are if you like um, it's movies like a- or shows about rock bands, not- and this isn't Watch the Dirt. The Dirt about Motley Crue is way better. Yeah. Did you ever see that one on Netflix? No. It's called you The Dirt. It's pretty good. I told you. <laughs> Exposed. Right? This is the Emotional damage. <laughs> Emotional damage. Uh, but it, nah, this is pretty much... It's kind of like a mockumentary, right? It really is. Because it, it's a bit ridiculous. Tommy does come off like a major asshole. Pam, but she Sebastian does, Stan. Sebastian Stan does yeah, dude, it's It's fun to watch because he... He's like the asshole of what people tend to become when they get money. Yeah. But you will kind of understand because I think most people would kind of be like that. He's just carefree. Like, well, I got money. Fuck it. Yeah. I don't care what it costs. Yeah. yeah. Shit like that. But it, it it goes into the backstory of the guy that stole the tape. How it all got. Like, it's a huge story. And I, I don't think it needs to be a series. They could have made this like a two-hour movie and, and be been one, done One and it. done, yeah. Yeah. But that's like the highlight episode too, where he's literally talking to his penis and it's talking back. Like literally, it's moving and the little was like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's ridiculous. Dude. There's no point to that, but they chose to go yeah. with it. I mean, I only I've only got up to episode three, and um, yeah, it's not that I lost interest. It's just like, and that's the funny thing though, because it's like thirty minute episodes, so they go quicker than you think, and it's interesting enough to make you keep watching but not like where i have to watch the next episode yeah. right now oh no. like breaking bad oh yeah no, breaking bad well that's not another level yeah that's that's a, or, or ozark for that matter mm-hmm. we can jump into that one real quick ozark is the end of april oh my gosh and if you didn't see on mode nine uh tiktok mm-hmm. yeah we posted april 20 i think it's april 22nd yeah so the Aren't end of the yep. second part so April starts in April, April 22nd. Was next year. It was announced no. uh, last week. Because they filmed the whole season together, but they split it up so that they could edit and put it out sooner. So they did that for the first part while they were working on the second part. 
so they're gonna put it out this summer. Supposedly because they want to make sure that they get no, um, into the nomination for the, which one's the TV one, not the Oscars. Whichever one the TV awards are, mm -hmm. they wanted to submit it for this season, so they had to be airing before May. So that's why they're releasing it. April 29th. 29th. I thought it was the 27th. Yeah. So. It'll be the last and final that's season. It. Ozark that's is it. done. And then the even, movie's not. Even, even with the last part not out yet, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to call it, and I'm going to say this is probably, to me, better than Breaking Bad. I'm, I'm liking it better than Breaking Bad. Unless they pull a Game of Thrones, like we said, and completely fuck it up, Yeah, this is going to be my number one. But you haven't finished Ozark, right? No, I haven't. How far? Not the new one that just came out. The new okay, so, so you, you haven't watched. You've it. watched one, two, and three yeah. seasons. Yeah. Okay, so you have. So you just know the lawyer's dead. That's it. Yeah. I but, uh, okay. Yeah, so, you're in for you're in for a roller coaster. For real. I mean, not that the whole show is not a roller coaster, yeah. but yeah, after Maybe. this, it's kind of like holy crap. Kinda yeah, like, the tension. I would say that the tension in this season currently is probably as, as high as the entire three seasons put together. Mm -hmm. Like just. The fucking nephew. I don't know. Yeah, you'll see him. I think they should have brought him in prior to give him <clears throat> to give him more of a storyline. Right. But I think the way that they brought him in still is good. Everything right? What? No. What? We don't have audio. Yeah. Cool. There we go. So, like we were saying, we it cut off on the audio. It cut off. Where we were finishing up with Pam and Tommy, mm -hmm. and then went into Ozark. So we can either leave it that way, and I'll just use the audio from the camera, or we can go back a little bit and get the audio. I would say just leave it, because okay. I, don't, I don't think we're going <clears> to <throat> get everything that we said anyway. We're good. Any final thoughts on Ozark? Uh, it's great. <laughs> you don't, you don't, you haven't caught up because you don't have the time, or? Yeah, I mean, I, I watch... Maybe a show once or twice a week. That's it. Oh, yeah. That's going to take you a while. Then. Yeah. But yeah, you powered through Yellowstone. Yes. yes. Is it because you like Yellowstone better than Ozark? No, I just want to finish it. Hmm. I just want okay. to get it. Get it over with? Yeah, and then I can go back. So you can go to 1883? That, yeah. That that's good, another actually. one I want to get into. I like it. Yeah. I think we're going to... I have a feeling that we're going to like that one more. Um... Her, is it your dad? Was it? Is that Sam Elliott? No, Sydney Portier was my grandfather, and <laughs> Morgan Freeman was my dad. Oh Sam, shit! Sam Elliott was my sugar daddy. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah. your sugar daddy? Yeah, or your her? And, your mom and I are fighting over him. Oh okay. Oh, is that what you wanted to grow the mustache? <laughs> no, no, but wasn't it your mom that also had a thing for? Yeah, my mom's got. Kind of <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well, then there's that, right? Yeah, she has but yeah, my mom, my mom has a thing for Sam Elliott too, so I'm pretty sure we can get her to watch it. It's a voice. Ata a three is really good. Yeah, it's a voice, but he's a good actor too. He's aged, you know. But yeah, he's one of those actors that's been old since like forever. <laughs> yeah, and I, was gonna, I don't know. Did I send it to you where there was a young William Defoe? Like I actually found video of young William Defoe. Well, I like I like uh, William Defoe. Not William Dafoe. But in <laughs> I'm gonna find a, a drum track and put it in there. <laughs> William Dafoe, William the friend. Oh, he got William it. Friend. He's just really disappointed that he's related to you right now. <laughs> pull up the pull up the list. What else were we gonna talk about? Well, we did Pam and Tommy. Um, what else was on there? Uh, Yellowstone. So did we talk about Yellowstone? We watched three episodes so far. I think two. Two or three. On season two. Two. Okay. The the only I don't want to say negative, but the only little rant I had about that was I I think what happened was that at the end of season one they didn't know for sure if it was gonna pick up or not. So they were playing the whole angle of He's got cancer and he's going to die. Okay. And then they're like, oh, we're going to be able to extend this for like three or four seasons. So let's just say that he had an ulcer, not cancer, yeah. and he's going to live. I saw that. It, it seemed a little tacky, 
But it makes sense because doctors do that shit all the time where they think it's one thing. And he assumed it was cancer. So it, it kind of worked out. So but did, I thought that was interesting. I was like, okay. So now they're like... And it, the moment that he had with Casey where yeah. they just stop in the field and he makes that little speech where he's telling him like, you do that when you think you're dying, but then you realize you're not. And now you have to live with all the consequences of the decisions you made. Okay. That I thought was pretty deep. And I'm like, okay, that, that plays in really well. I liked it. Did you... So... In season two, is that when they discovered the dinosaur bones? No, that was in season one. Okay. So it's like discovered dinosaur bones, right? Somebody came and stole them in the story. So they, they, don't, touch, they yeah. don't touch on that at, at it all ever, never, again? It never comes back. No. That's why I was like really weird because I don't know if they're trying to go somewhere with that. I get the feeling that that's just something that happens on native land like all the time so to them it was just like oh by the way this shit happens and you guys don't really know about that's it that's true yeah because i did find that strange like a, that was a pretty big thing i'm like holy shit they're gonna incorporate jurassic park what the right hell? crossover <laughs> chris oh, yeah. pratt amazing <laughs> yeah he's running in the background <laughs> that's with, why he was with the horses right <laughs> yeah with guardians of the galaxy music playing in the background oh, shit. Uh, i don't know if we know that from that but yeah um anything's possible in the multiverse right Pretty much, <laughs> nerds. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got one laugh, even if we don't have viewers, right? That's so, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we kind of like. Well, as far as news, we can go into news because news has quite a bit. Uh, like we said, the uh, second part of Ozark is going to be on the 29th Ninth. of April. 29th. 29th. Ninth. <laughs> That's a new date. Uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, they switched it from the beginning of March to March 22nd for digital. Okay. So you're going to have to wait a few more weeks for that. All right. Uh, what else? You still going to watch the shit out of it on Disney Plus? Oh, yes. Okay. Well, actually, it's not going to premiere on on Disney Plus because it's a Sony. Because it's still Sony. So they have that thing going. I think it's Paramount Plus. I think. Bastards. I can't remember. What's on? Paramount Plus. Uh, Yeah. Uh, Spider-Man? No, really? Yeah, because uh, cause Spider-Man is still technically owned by Sony. Yeah. It's not part of the Marvel company. Did you watch it? Yeah. I watched you it. You haven't seen it? Okay. No, I haven't. It's good. It's really good. It's really good. They, well, no, I don't want to spoil it. I don't know if you follow it the way us nerds do. I'm not playing with your leg on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> or am I? No. Oh, shit. I've had enough bloody <laughs> 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 shifts. <laughs> no, He's like, <laughs> right? He's all I might like it. Um, what what else did you put? You sent me one that was pretty uh, Morbius? PG-13? Really? I mean, come on. Yeah. Well, Venom was R, right? No. Was it? Yeah, I believe so. I don't know. Uh, but, which one? Venom 2 or Venom 1? I believe both. Huh. No, you might not. Venom 2 was PG-13 because that was a big thing that they were saying. Like, oh, why would you make it PG-13? And then, yeah. PG-13? That there'd be carnage? Mm, let's see. Huh. Yeah, make, make more money. money. It's like when they did the first Alien versus Predator. They were both. PG-13, that's all they pushed about. Yeah. They yeah. Just the they were, exactly. They were both PG-13. One and two. So. But I don't think anybody really listens to that anymore anyway. They just don't want the backlash I get. I guess because they made Logan rated R, they made Deadpool rated R, and you know damn well. Shit, when I went to see Ted in the theater, yeah, there was a bunch of kid parents with their kids. Yeah, and Nobody that was gives like, a shit. That was a hard R too. Yeah. So yeah, but you know, PG thirteen, whatever. It's Sony, right? Yeah, I don't know if they'll ever get the rights back from from Sony. I don't think so either. But I guess they have to at some point, but. What else? What else did I send? Or you sent me as far as news. Did you ever, did you get on Google and do the Batman? Yeah, about I did. The Bruce Wayne? I'm, so, I'm nerdy enough that yeah. I would do that shit. Apparently, so, if you go into Google and you put Bruce Wayne, there's a little bat signal that comes out. You click on it and then it puts a little light no, on your really. screen. No? Yes, I, geeked out. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know about that. No, he, he's uh, too many for that okay, shit. Okay, so from Get Fandom, people have been imitating my voice ever since I came on stage 60 years ago. So I can't. I can't be held responsible for that. Patrick Stewart comments on fans recognizing his voice on Doctor Strange 2 trailer. I mean, there's so much. After No Way Home, everybody's going to be saying, nope, I'm not in it. Nope, I'm not in it. Nobody's going to be the one to fuck it up. Even Ryan Reynolds is like, no, I'm definitely not in it. And he always jokes about everything. So for him to say straight face like, oh, I'm not in it, I call bullshit. 
I think true. everybody's fucking in it. Yeah. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> everybody's <laughs> fucking in it. Version. Right? Oh, we geez. downloaded the wrong one again. Oh, yeah. So the Multiverse uh, of Penis. I, I, we, damn. I, I don't know what you're watching. There. Okay. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> right? It's like, what are you letting them download, Cinda? Lift that glass and look at his <laughs> He's all with the bottle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, back to MCU news. Lord uh, Thor. Lord Thor. Lord Thor. Thor. Lord Thor. Thor. Love and Thunder. There's apparently a new trailer coming out on the 28th. So be ready. Of February? Tomorrow. Ooh. Uh, tomorrow. That'll be the first official trailer because wow. so far it's just teasers. Oh, yeah, it is. There's not even teasers. There's no teaser of Thor Love and Thunder. I thought there was. Nope. It's going to be on Monday Night Football. Nice. There's no Monday Night Football. Dude. February 30th. <laughs> Back to Reacher. They got, what, uh, season two, right? They got approved for season they two? They approved season two already. It's going to be another book entirely. So that that's pretty cool. And Tom Holland, did you hear that he's taking a break too from movies? Yeah, I can I can see that. Dude. I, for being that young, yeah, I can see him saying like, you know what, fuck this. I don't personally get the fascination with Zendaya, but having a girlfriend like that, I imagine he's like, ah, let me go have some sex for like two weeks in, <laughs> in the Caribbean without worrying about movie shit. Exactly. Uncharted, which I haven't seen. You haven't no. seen Uncharted. <sighs> No you started. said you played the games? Uh, no, I don't think so. I really enjoyed the games. It had, it was one of the better, like cinematic experiences of a video game that I'd played in a while. Yeah. So I was looking forward to it. Is that Max? Yes. Um. Anyway, we can cut that part out. Okay. Um. Yeah, it had one of the better cinematic experiences of a video game. So when they announced it, I was like, that would actually. It would be really cool if they could make a good video game movie that could actually take over the Indiana Jones space. Yeah. Because Indiana Jones hasn't been good since, to me anyway, since the, yeah, the, the Crystal Skulls sucked ass. Yeah. And they tried Tomb Raider, kind of. Mm. That one didn't take... The, uh, what was the other one? The Mummy, I guess, kind of was oh. trying it. There was another series <laughs> that was trying to take over Indiana Jones. No? Okay, maybe just me. Mission Impossible? Yeah, no. There's how many of those? Like nine of them? But anyway, 100. so I was looking forward to it, but then when I heard it was him and Mark Wahlberg, I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. You'll probably get a kick out because it's more end Indiana Jonesy, more action y. Yeah. So I, I, know, we'll see. I, I look forward to watching it. I'll I, watch I, it I think for it'll sure. be good. So that's it. Well, there was this big, huge thing that I sent you for this new movie. Yes, Oppenheimer. From, uh, Christopher Nolan. Yes. Uh, Oppenheimer. Yeah. Yeah. That I don't, dude. All I need to know is it's fucking Chris Nolan, and I'm I'm You're good. all over it. Emily Blunt, Cillian Murphy, Robert Downey Jr., Florence Pugh, Jack Quaid, Kenneth Branagh, Remy Malek, Matt Damon, Alden Edrich. Uh, what's his name? Alden Edrich. Edrich. Alder Selba. No, Alden. Oh. Alden. No, I don't know who that is. Alder Selba. Josh. Harnet? <laughs> Josh <laughs> That's why I was doing that. It's like Josh <laughs> <laughs> Dean Han and uh, Dean Han was uh, is that the same guy that came out with uh, Spider Man as Venom? I don't know. Let me see. The one that lived in El Paso for a little while. Who are we talking about? Dane Dehan? Dean Han. He lived in El Paso for a while? Is he the same man or whatever? Mm, no. no. No, he's a younger. Are you talking about uh, Cheer Dick? No, Cheer Dick. I don't know. Uh, the one that's an know. easy A, that's the teacher. He lived in El Paso for a little while. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Huh. Well, that one looks cool. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. I, I have, have no, no idea. idea. Yeah, I have no <laughs> idea what it's about. You I don't know no, nothing about it, heard but heard it's Christopher it. Nolan, yeah. so I'm like, I'm, I'm all about it. And David Daschan Machelin. There you go. Boom. Oh, is that the guy that's like in every comic book movie ever? The one that, yeah. Shit? Where that he was funny. in. Um, it, uh, he's in everything. Yeah, he's well, in Ant-Man, Batman, any man that you Gotham. Mm-hmm. Gotham. He's in Gotham. Yeah, he's in everything. Suicide Squad. Yeah. He's he's Polka Dot Man or mm-hmm. whatever his name is. Isn't he a producer or something? A writer, producer? Con- considering how many movies he's in, I wouldn't be surprised if he's like some major... 
person. Executive, and we don't even know. David, David Machian. That's Malchian. McLean? Mm-hmm. John McLean? Da- David McLean's John McLean. McLean. He's John McLean's son. <laughs> Die harder. Her, her, her. Mm-hmm. Her, her, her. Viagra. Um, that's pretty much it, dude. I mean... What let's... have you watched? Let's, let's, let's go that route. What have you watched? Let's see, I watched... Recently? Not you. Oh. Yeah, we no, don't care about you. Watch. Zero Yellowstone, Zero. I'm just Yellowstone, man. I'm that's trying. all you've been powering through? I have not watched anything else. But even Ambrose works a lot, and he watches a lot of shit. You have no excuse. Come on, man. <laughs> I don't. I, I never watch TV. I don't. When you have free time, what are you doing? Um, Drinking. At the gym. <laughs> At the gym. At the gym? At the gym. I don't do anything else but the gym. I don't watch any TV unless I'm watching Yellowstone. Like, I'll watch a show mm-hmm. or two if I can. That's it. Don't okay. watch any other TV. Oh, I cut up on The Walking Dead. Okay. And I cut up on Fear the Walking Dead. That's what took up my time. Okay. So, so The Walking Dead, you're caught up to wherever they are right now. Yeah, because they're releasing every Sunday. It's the last season. Like, they're done with The Walking Dead. Yeah, but they're on... Because they're doing three parts of the finale for Walking no Dead. No right? idea, dude. As far as I know, they're doing three parts. So Do you know which part you're on? Second. I already started the second part. Okay. Yeah. There's supposed to be three parts to so, this end. So I'm on the second part, and Fear the Walking Dead. Uh-huh. I I think I finished it because I think that's done for the season, and the way it ends is like insane, dude. Fear the Walking Dead. Fear the Walking Dead. It's because you know there was a crossover, right? Right. So the the crossover with Morgan going into Fear the Walking Dead, uh-huh. and you know that sense, and he wasn't the only one that crossed over. Somebody else crossed over too. Did you see that? No. Uh, the guy Dwight. Burn. Okay. So he crossed over too. So he's now on Fear the Walking Dead. Okay. So I don't know if the stories are lining up. I'm pretty sure. But I, I think they're back because I would, the Walking because Dead. Because Fear the Walking Dead is supposed to be. In Texas. When the, the outbreak happened. Yeah. So I'm I'm figuring it's going to be where Fear the Walking Dead is going to end is probably going to be like right where the Walking Dead started. Okay. No. That's what I... No? No. No, because when Fear Walking Dead started, that's when Morgan was like, out. Oh, can you close the door, please? The, oh, okay. So that's... So Morgan cr- transitioned to the uh, Fear the Walking Dead from The Walking Dead. So Fear the Walking Dead is presumably around midway or after The Walking Dead? Yeah. It's because they're kind of like... It, I think it happened like after, but I think they're like tying together. It's really weird the way the the storyline huh. is. I just don't know if I could invest time into Fear the Walking because I'm already Fear the Walking Dead when it first started. Yeah, it started at the beginning of the pandemic. Right. So like all that time that Rick was asleep or whatever uh-huh. or in the coma. Right. That's when Fear the Walking Dead happened, and then when Morgan transitioned into Fear. Ah, okay. That's when it kind of like it. Kind of like got back together. So there's a big time span. Yeah, it's for, really for weird. Walking. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So, but now at the end of this last season, mm-hmm. it's kind of like, oh shit! Now we know what's going on, and this is like big, like. You think they're gonna keep big, going? Big bada boom, <laughs> like big bada big boom. Bada boom. No, literally, big, big bada, bada boom, boom is hmm. where they're at right now. Yeah. So you think they're gonna continue with trying to expand the un- that universe per se? <sighs> I don't know. There's another spinoff that came out of it too, mm. which is after everything that happened in Fear and in The Walking Dead happened, because they're already living with the people. Mm. They've already made a huge community. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, it's it's the other one. I don't know what it's called. I, can't I think that's the other thing that is. I don't want to say bugging me, but I just don't see it continuing the whole zombie part. It's yeah. more of what humanity is living in a zombie world and that's just the way it's gonna like there's gonna be no resolution to the zombie part yes and that that's where i was like uh, i don't know if i really give a shit about what happens to humanity i want to see a resolution to that part <laughs> did you watch any of the walking dead i did i did oh my god i don't remember what season i stopped did you see the prison yeah that was, after that. That was three that was season three so Around four or five, I remember that's when I stopped watching. I okay, just, 
didn't yeah, because that at the I remember at the end of season one, I was stupid excited like that that whole thing that they had, and then they basically went there for nothing. Like I was like, okay, cool. So what happens here? And then that's when they started getting into more the humanity of what would happen. I was like, okay, yeah, it makes sense. They killed off Shane. I'm like, okay, well, what the fuck now? <laughs> and then after the prison, I was just like, ah, this is... Nah. Yeah, but The Walking Dead was pretty notorious of killing the, their higher-up characters. Yeah. Like Game of Thrones. Yeah. And I think they had the, that shock factor where it was like, we're going to kill them, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter who's who. We're just going to kill them. Yeah. So. I don't know. Well, I, I, I was... That's why I keep telling them, I'm going to keep watching and finish it so that i can shit over it like all over it properly but i lost interest in it a long time ago yeah i couldn't too. i couldn't keep watching so before yellowstone what were you watching the walking dead or what and what else uh vikings that he was telling me about that that's you like that one? Oh my god i love the vikings yeah that makes sense so well, just sure. now based you know basing on what you say that you do like and stuff like that makes sense that you would probably watch vikings the vikings is a good show the one that I want to get into. Did you get into Peaky Blinders at all? Oh no, but he did. He was telling me we were talking Peaky about Blinders. Good? Oh, Peaky Blinders. Man. I want to get into that one. It's like Yellowstone, but better. Oh shit! I I say it's better than Yellowstone, but it has the same storyline based on the family and okay starting and becoming big old mafia gang and okay. It's that same type of stuff. So, so if you had to choose between the two, you would pick Peaky Blinders yes. over Yellowstone? Yeah. Really? I think it's five seasons. See, because she, she wa- as Cinder watched it. She watched up until a certain point, and she, I would walk in. I would give her shit. She had, I think she stopped watching because of me, because I would give her shit. I'd be like, really? I would want to watch that, and then she thought I was serious. But I wanted to watch that. that so is really it done? Like the Peaky no, there's this one. one. We're the one for- that's out right now should be the final season. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so there's six seasons. It started in 2013, and it's based out of, uh, is it Britain? I want to say it's originally a BBC series, but I can't remember. It says it's in it's, it's, it's 1919 after the, uh, in the aftermath of the Great War. But it doesn't say where? It says Britain. It says Britain is a mixture of despair and heroism. Oh, you're saying where it takes place? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it's it's supposed to. It's like England, Irish type. Yeah. Tom Hardy comes in it too? Yeah. I don't know who's that. Yeah. Tom Hardy, Venom? The guy from Venom. I don't remember. No? The guy from... Yeah, Tom Hardy's... I think he comes in... What does he play? I don't even remember this guy. I don't know. He plays... He comes into like the second or third season or something like that. No. (laughs) <laughs> it turns out he. So it turns out he was watching uh, what's that that show the the hotel not the hotel but the like mansion place. Uh, it's gonna be a haunted, good joke. I haunted promise. mansion. No, not the haunted mansion. Way. God uh, damn it! Where's Cinder when you need it? <laughs> the scary mansion. That popular BBC show about the mansion hotel place. That it's just nothing but drama. It was a good fucking joke, <laughs> all right? It was a really good joke, but now it's all fucked up. Chinga. Anyway, I'm going to remember after we fucking start. There was another it. movie I was just thinking about. You said P.E. Blinder, and it kind of threw me through a loop. So. Oh, well, real quick while you remember, I was going to say, real quick. Um, I'm liking that the, a lot of shows are... Walking Dead is probably not a good example, but Peaky Blinders, Ozark, they're, they're doing like short almost mini series they're like four or five seasons and that's it we're done yeah because like the days of dexter where it's like eight fucking seasons or other shows it's like 10 i'm like th- there's not enough story for yeah. you to make it good anymore i don't think well i mean the walking dead going back to that unfortunately but <laughs> i don't want to keep going it's called world beyond okay so it's the walking dead fear the walking dead and the walking dead world beyond so this happens I guess after Rick, after everybody, you know what I mean. So that one, I, I don't know. It depends on how they do. I, I might a, be interested in that. It's a little off, uh, but it's okay because I started it, never okay. finished it. There's like maybe spreading too thin. It's I think just so. Too much. Yeah, but it 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 gives. You know when Rick died, or nah, didn't die? No. Okay. Well, when Rick didn't die. You didn't have. You haven't got there yet. I haven't gotten there Spoilers. yet. Spoilers. Fuck. Right. Well, I kind of already knew that. That because he's obviously not in the current one, so something happened. To yeah, him. I know that. So in other words, the people that kind of help, it's kind of like there's still like other people, uh-huh. but the people that are like up there, up there, like let's say the government, uh huh, they're out there still. 
Ah, uh, okay. But they only show themselves every so often in each right season, whatever. Mm, okay. There was something else we were talking about. I said Peaky Blinders. That, Vikings. That, that. Vikings. Valhalla. Vikings. Oh, the Netflix. It's like a after yes. Vikings. So 100 it's, years it's, after. Uh, yes. It's, uh, it. what do they call it? Vikings Valhalla, isn't it? Yeah, Valhalla. It's like a, they, they called it something. I sent you the, the thing. The trailer. Mm, you didn't watch it. No, I probably didn't. I just found out about it last night. Yeah. Tanya showed it's it really to me. really good. Now, did I oh, see Oh, you watched it? So you watched Vikings? I already finished Vikings. Okay. It has a trailer. It's on Netflix. Vikings is done, done. Done, done. Yeah, it's done. How many well. seasons is that? Uh, I think it was six. I think it is six as well. Yeah. Well, that's a badass show. So, does it... Did I see correctly that it has somewhat of a supernatural... Element uh, to it, or no. did I see it? Because I think I saw like a picture or something that it has some guy that's like deformed, or he looks almost like a character out of 300 or some shit. Like, no, no, uh, I think it's Valhalla. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Okay, then I probably mix it up with something else. I because I was telling him that a buddy of mine, shout out to Taco Avocat, um, he told me about Vikings, and I tried. I want to say the first two episodes, uh-huh. but I didn't. I didn't have my three episode rule back then. I just did like one and a half, maybe two episodes, and I was just like, mm, I don't think I can invest the time into this one. I mean, I, I, it is a little slow. I'm gonna say it's a little slow. Well, that, and that made sense because that's what he was explaining to me that it's a little like Game of Thrones, where you have to start learning names and families yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. You have yeah, to pay exactly. attention to that. And I invested the time into Game of Thrones, so. I figure eh, I might as well give it a shot and see, but it's, that's what we keep saying. There's just so much shit to watch that I'm interested in that I I don't know where the fuck to fit it in. Uh, six seasons. Six. Okay. Yeah. See, and that's what and I they're mean. They're about an hour, but those are an hour. See, and that's not too bad, though. I mean, still six seasons. Give it a few months and you can power through that pretty yeah. well. Because, like, Reacher, 40 minutes, what was it, eight episodes? Yeah, that I'm, was quick. I pushed through that. I'll tell you what. This is how I compared Vikings to. Mm-hmm. After Game of Thrones was done, mm-hmm. I started watching Vikings. Mm-hmm. Because it's still kind of, you know, the, the cinematography, the production is right. really good. It's okay. done very well to where it kind of like, it's not very like campy or like fakey. Like, um, what was that um, CW series with the, with the girl that was a uh, Hercules kind of? Zena? Zena. <laughs> <laughs> what, to be fair, at the time it was really good. <laughs> Zena. <laughs> Zena, Warrior Princess, and Hercules. I'm just telling you that's not that type of production. Yeah. You know? Well, CW, poor, poor guys, they, they've just been bad at production. They try. For years. They try. Just but. sell out. Sell out to Disney. Fuck it. There you go. <laughs> the DC Warner Brothers, probably. It'll probably be Warner Brothers. <laughs> but it's good. Yeah. So if you can, it's a it's. I, There's I, just so much shit to watch. I think that Vikings is such a long watch. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to invest. It's like Yellowstone. You're gonna have to invest yeah. yeah. time to yeah, watch it. True. But yeah. it's really good. And that's the thing. So like, if I had to make a list, it would probably be finish Yellowstone, watch 1883. Probably Peaky Blinders is. Probably number three on that list, would, and yes. then maybe Vikings. Yeah. Because there's just so much shit that I want to watch. It's just. Figuring out if she wants to watch it and then watching it together, or if not, power through and watch. But then there's a bunch of stuff, geeky stuff that I yeah. want to watch in the in between. Well, so. I was gonna knock out Kingsman last night, but I haven't seen the second one. Right. And I was, you know, sitting on the couch, and and you know what the funny I thing wasn't is, alone. So if you said that you were going to try at least, we probably would have watched Kingsman, but we ended up watching The Devil Wears Prada instead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the funny thing because he's he's all like the manly stuff, and I'm like, I'll I'll watch that shit. I actually like that movie. <laughs> that one's a good movie. I actually <laughs> like that movie. Oh, you like do you? I do. Yeah, that, that's I funny. do like that movie. That's cool. <laughs> did you watch Cruella? I did. I like that one too. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. On the same it's page. Good. <laughs> when it's a good movie, that one was surprisingly good. Though. You liked it? Yeah, I did like it. It, it was, was it was different than I thought it was going to be, <laughs> mm-hmm. but it was good. Well, now I think everybody can agree. You know what? If anybody's out there that's watching this that doesn't like Cruella, please email, comment, something. Because I have not met a person that didn't like that movie. Really I'm not going to say it's been, it's like the greatest movie, but, it, no, but it's, it's, good. It's, it's a good fucking movie. Yeah. 
That's actually surprising. And that's what it reminded me of, Devilish Prada. Yeah. That type of and that's, how, that's the same way I told you. Yeah. Right? That's <laughs> what we were talking about when we, really? when we reviewed it. Yeah, we were like, it, it reminded me of Devilish Prada. And there's just something about it. It's, there's, it's not like overt with the whole feminism thing. And it's not preachy. And it's it's fun to watch because she the what's her name I, I just saw it last night Priestley ah whatever her fucking Jason name is. Priestley no not Jason um, <laughs> she's such an asshole but there's a reason for it and it the, like the development of the whole movie it's it's really good and fucking Cruella really good movies anyway so that's it Pam and Tommy you need to catch up on yeah. that see if you watch it see if you um, like it. Yellowstone, I'll try to catch up more on that. That one's just going to take forever. Um, well, you finished Reacher. I finished Reacher. Reacher yeah. You need to watch. Do it. I, I, I really think yeah, you'll like Reacher. I'll I really it. think you'll like it. It's and a really good More like show. Kingsman. I started it. Yeah. I started it. Kingsman? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I haven't seen the second one, so I have to watch the second you one. You watch the other two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, and that's what I was telling It's It's... Um, like a campier, more fun version of like James Bond. It's kind of poking yeah. fun at James Bond a little bit, but it's it's pretty good. I really like them. I'm interested to see how it all started. Uh, well, I was hoping that No Way Home would be out so I could finally officially finish it. Yeah. I haven't technically finished it. Um, ready? Yeah. Home. So with that being said, as always, be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. Do you have a catchphrase that you want to end the show no, with? No, I don't. No? You need, you need to come up with cheers. Bye-bye. Give me another yeah. drink. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Bye. Yeah, we'll have to get you one because you're going to be Damn on it. more often. So, <laughs> Guys, thank you. Have another day. Are you live? Bacon? Bacon. Bacon.